Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I am from IGS Electronics and today I got a new mic, well, ish, new mic, but hopefully that improves my uh, sound quality for a intros. But anyway, uh, we are going to be a, a doing another, another drive today because I have literally a, I'm looking at down there about six or seven different manufacturer drives I still need to cover, so I, I need to start going really, really through them. But the one we're going to be doing today is uh, Omron slash i would say yaskara even though it says i'm not but they're all bloody the same uh v1000 drive which is a fairly old drive and uh still very commonly used in the industry and uh, quite a preferred choice for a lot of people and still they uh, use uh, sold a lot in a lot of places so let's do the three video part on it so first one as usual we're going to do the commissioning the local run and things like that the uh, second one we're going to be a two three wire controls and they're looking a bit of the security as well and things like that for uh, we, uh, we use a single potentiometer and in a uh, third video we're going to be doing a uh, uh, more remote control for the mop control which where we can control the speed with the two buttons and we're going to be looking at to do a multi-frequency setup as well so all the video all the related videos for this video i will have uh, them all in the description below and also all the parts that i'm using the parts of this drive nicola that's part of 0.37 kilo and uh yeah related manuals that i think would definitely uh, definitely benefit you out to get where you want to be so before we get started as usual we are here at what i just said we buy sell parts so if you're looking for the parts get in touch you can find a lot of our stock and uh, stock what we're stocking links like on our ebay page in the description a link in the description below and also if you want to sell the parts get in touch as well and uh ping us a message and whatever you got and things like that and we can go from there and bef well without further ado let's start it <music> Alrighty, now that everything is ready to go, let's go through uh, all the wiring now. So uh, this part in here, this is where you can add additional blocks for additional functions if you wish to. Uh, down here, the phase will go in an L1 and then neutral will go in L2. And obviously if you have three phase, you would use L1 and L2 and L2 and 3. And down here, this is where it goes to the motor and your earth goes right in the bottom down here. Uh, let's start with the groups as well. Uh, the first actually, let's do the switches. There's a switch down here, which is a switch two, which is used for more bus on and off. Uh, this one in here is gonna be our volts and amps, what we're gonna be using for the, the um, uh, speed controls. I already switched that across to volts. And, uh, and right down here, it's our uh, sync and source. So uh, this terminal block, in here that's used for mobile connections and let's go start with the groups there's a multifunction digital input it will be from a uh, s1 all the way to s6 and that's uh, sc it's going to be our common so then it's going to be multifunction analog pulse inputs they are going to be from uh, v uh, v plus a1 a2 ac and uh, next one, save disable inputs is going to be these. We're going to be uh, HC, H1, and H2. These are the ones we're going to be using quite a lot in these vi upcoming videos. There's a multifunctional relay output, which is uh, uh, these three in here, which are used for uh, for faults. And uh, basically, it's got normal open, normal or close contact there. So you can use those for those things. And then there's a multifunctional PHC output, which is the P1, P2, and PC. We're not gonna be using those. And the next one is monitor out, which is the MP, AM, and AC. Uh, MP, AM, and AC, three down here. These are can be used for external frequency monitor and other things. And uh, already the mobile bus we already mentioned, so pretty much that is the whole board. We're more, more or less going to be using some some uh, stuff from here, and mainly going to be using the bottom down here. So that will be the uh, terminals and things like that. Let's get to uh, initialization or factory reset. Next, let's have a look at the front panel. So, front stop, self-explanatory in here. When I get myself a CX, uh, I think CX drive, I'll show you how to connect to the laptop and things like that as well. Uh, reset self explanatory but again, around there you can move believer zero, so I can show you the believer from uh, one point to another. Uh, escape will uh, obviously escape and it allows you as well to move the digit backwards and forwards uh, when you go sideways. Up and down button, this is where you enter the uh, menus, pretty much. 
and also uh, local and remote you can actually like uh, local or remote you can go from uh, from local uh, or a remote and that's what the button you'll be uh, using that for so uh that's pretty much it from the buttons in the front so uh let's get to a full initial initial factory reset and to do that there is a couple of uh, ways you can do it and uh, that will be in the first i'll show you how to go through this uh, menu so in the menu you go up and down that's usually you usually go down it says and then go four four f and then it's going to be error we're going to get to that in a minute we're going to be the auto tuning and pretty much you go through the whole menu uh, depending which part you want to access so uh the one we're going to be going in you're going to initialize basically factory reset the drive. You're going to go to parameters, press enter, and this you're going to see the groups. As you can see, there's quite a few groups in parameters. Quite nice segregation, pretty cool. I like it. And once you've chosen your group, which your group uh, you are using, I'm going to show you later on a little bit how those groups are grouped up in the manual. And then you just press, press the reset button, sort of uh, going uh, forwards what you want to do. And then it's like in that group is a subgroup, if you want to choose that. Uh, we don't and then, then also you go forward and then you can then you can go and select the parameters you want to play with the one we're going to be playing with today it is well now is we want to initialize and then uh, initialization is a parameter three and when you enter that one you need to choose what sort of initialization you want there's two types which they kind of kind of help out for you to get to the point if you want to use three wire system as well it sort of shows you uh, i don't actually have it on paper on me that you can uh, initialize straight to two wire control or you can initialize uh, straight to the three wire control because in the next video the first thing we're going to be doing uh, is a two wire control we're going to initialize basically reset all the uh, parameters to factory default uh, by uh, using in in the initialization with a two 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 zero that will be two wire initialization so we got one two one two one two press enter as soon as it stops saying, it jumps back to the zeros, and that's how you pretty much reset the drive. Next, uh, let's set up a uh, auto tune. Uh, so we prepare the drive for the auto tune. So basically, we need to enter the motor data and perform auto tune. So basically, the motor and the drive more or less like marry up. That would be the more less scientific way of explaining that. Just marry them up so they all understand each other. So to do that, uh, we escape 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 and go back to the parameters and then you're going to see something like a dot run enter that one and there's a couple of ways you can do it if you go in the group you can select the 02 or 03 02 will be a for uh, stationary so we just we're going to be measuring a line to line resistance and in many cases this is what you're going to be using because uh, your drive because the other one which is the third one which is yeah not third one is the third one in here you have to do it has to rotate and there cannot be any, any load on anything like that and in many cases you're not going to be able to do it i can do it because my, my motor doesn't have any load on it so i should be able to do that but for the demonstration purposes because this is what's the most common thing you're going to be duty, doing we're going to be using uh, the second one which is line to line resistance which is a stationary you're not going to move at all so uh, and for that purpose uh, when you do the zero two you only need to, to enter two parameters which already is going to jump on it so uh, i already done that so it's a 0.37 kilowatt i already added that one and uh, the fourth one is going to be your current rating my one is 1.98 and the next one you're going to see is run 12 pretty much uh, where you all you need to do now is uh, press the start button and it will do its business so by doing that is doing his tuning and once it finishes it will uh, go back to his normal state there we go it flashes end now so he's done auto tuning if no errors popped up everything was uh, perfectly well so drive is ready to go and that is it ladies and gentlemen your drive is pretty much ready to go only need to make sure the l o and r e we need are in a local mode and things like that and one more thing i have added and i'll be adding it in all of the upcoming videos because i always rely on that yeah people more likely be using some sort of way of isolating a, a uh, motor from the drive but if you don't use it you can you you should be using some form of e-stop and this is where I added this e-stop uh, button in here where you can see my HC uh, terminal 
let's go a bit further away. My HC terminal is coming to my normally closed compact, and then the HC H1 and H2 is returning back to a uh, terminals right here. So by clicking that E stop, it goes to error, and drive is stopped within a, a point of a second. And by releasing it, it automatically resets it. So it gives you some sort of way of stopping the drive or whatever the equipment you're using. It allows you to shut the system down as quick as possible. And that would be the best way to do it. And other than that, that's for the basic run to get your things. Obviously, there's more parameters you can play with. Uh, setting up your minimum, uh, maximum frequency, the acceleration, acceleration times, and other bits and things like that. But again, that, we can look at that, some of that uh, in the next video. Uh, we just need to run it. So uh, are we in a local run? No, can't see it from here. So by clicking the run, uh, let's enter the frequency. By enter, if we want to change the frequency, press enter and just enter the, and there we go. And your drive is off it, off it go. And then uh, unless you, you can exit down, by exiting then you sort of leave the, and you no longer can change it. But Another thing I'm going to show you, as my maximum frequency be set to 50, for whatever reason, it allows you to go above it. Let's say 70, and when you press enter, it just rejects your what you're trying to enter, enter it, so you just, it just tells you, no, it's not correct. Usually you would stop in other drives, but in this drive, it's a bit different, it doesn't, so... Uh, and there we go, my acceleration time is 10 seconds on the fault. So pretty much that's how this drive is running for 0.37 kilowatt with this such a small fan, well, not so small, there's no fan at all. Uh, it runs very smooth and well, it, there are pricey drives, but it runs very smooth and they have a hell of a lifetime as well in them. So good drives and then I definitely want to have an, uh, if you do have one or you're thinking of buying one, definitely grab one of these. I've got two of these in the stock. If you're after one and things like that, this one, this one, this light duty is 0.7 and heavy duty is 0.25 kilowatts. So uh, that's that's if you uh, are cho choosing what the drivers it would be good for. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, for the local setup, that will be it, and that's all we need to do. The motor and drive is set, everything's ready to go, and that is it for this video. So uh, if you like the video, please smash that like. If you didn't. Uh, much dislike to and, and plus if you are uh, liking what we're doing there uh, and uh, would like to see further videos definitely definitely subscribe and uh will they definitely be proceeding from there and other than that thank you very thank, thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video